Hi, this is Dorothy Smith, and I'm back again with Spruced Up Papers, and this is Project 3. So this is also a two-page layout, like Project 2 was. Um, and the papers that we're using are these nice kind of pine uh, branch papers. That's going to be our background. And the... <gasps> That's my dog, Ginger. She has a winter cough. Drives me nuts at night. So, these are the pieces that are going to go on uh, this particular layout. So, there's a bunch of scallops that are on the carrier pages here. And look at how super simple they are to come off. I am telling you, I love this. This is... It says Project 4, but it's not Project 4, it's Project 3. So they really didn't get these project numbers listed right on these carrier pages. So this is indeed Project 3. So I pull those off, and there's the aspen trees. also need that other scallop piece, and I need these trees. So they're going to come off. And the white tree comes off. See, it says Project 4 on here also, but it's Project 3. Yeah. So I have to just be careful now because I don't, don't really know which, which is going to what. But So this is Project 4, it says here, but it's Project 3. So fortunately, I think all of the Pieces that go on Project 3 are all labeled Project 4. So they've all been labeled with the same number, but the wrong number. So if you know what I mean, it's just kind of like, okay, are really all the pieces from for Project 3 really labeled Project 4? So I hope so. I think so. I'm not missing anything. Okay, so there's there's those pieces. So we've got six scallops, bunches of trees, need to put some of these things away. I know I need this the best place to be, and the wooden trees, the wooden embellishments, which I really like, by the way. Need a third one. Which is around someplace. Got my trees, got my scallops, don't need that. So hopefully you all had a great Christmas and uh, we're trying to get organized for the new year. Um, all of my Christmas decorations are away so that always makes me feel better. Makes me feel good when I have them out makes me feel really good when I put them back. So Jim and I worked really hard yesterday on packing everything away in a fairly organized fashion. So I'm just taking the zip strip off here. And off the other one. And uh, this is actually, that's too bad, one of my dark hairs fell out instead of one of the gray ones. I hate that. Okay. Um, so the zip strips, the, our papers, our, our printed papers end up being 12 and a half inches by 12. So you cut off the zip strip and you've got a 12 by 12. And so the uh, half inch piece is going to go on top of, there we go, on top of the 12 by 12. Now the scallops are going to be all pulled back in a second here, as soon as I figure out that you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just putting the Tombow along the very bottom of each of the scallop strips. So each scallop strip is 12 inches long, and it's going to go at the very bottom of the page. And so as long as you don't put any... Uh, Tombow, I kind of went crazy with the Tombow. It's kind of all over the place. But um, just put it on the very bottom of the strip. 
then you can tuck them behind. See, if I had it on the tops of the scallops, you wouldn't be able to tuck the other scallop behind. So just on the very bottom of the scallop strips, just so you can't see the bottom of the um, previous scallop strip or the next scallop strip, whichever. You know what I mean. So, kind of caught. So you just don't want to see the bottom of the one that you're adding. You don't want to see the bottom of it sticking out from the previous scallop. Okay, I think I said it right there. Okay, so there's my scallops. And it's kind of an interesting, I don't know if they're simulating, stylizing the bottom of a forest floor there. But I didn't do, I didn't make the cuts for the backgrounds of the, uh, the picture mats. And so the cute little chickadee paper will be the background for the, uh, they, that will be the mat for the background of the pictures. And so I'm cutting its little zip strip off and then I'm going to cut a six and a quarter inch strip boom, rotate it 90 degrees, and cut a four and a quarter, and another four and a quarter. Now, mind you, all of these, I'm not sure why they got cut this particular way, because you can't really tell whether the little birds are up or down once you put the um, photo placement holder and the uh, four by six photo in place. You're not going to be able to tell that the little bird is up or down. But all of these photos are, um, I just assumed that they were horizontal because of the way the birds were cut, but they're not, they're all vertical. Of course, I put them on there like they're horizontal. So I have to take them off later on. But I'm really having a problem with this Tombow. So there we go. Put the photo reminder there and doing it here and of course I'm doing it wrong but that's okay I mean it doesn't really make any difference those words don't have to be upright because the photo is going to go over them so what difference does it make but you know I get a little wired I shouldn't it's unhealthy okay got those cut so now we're going to go back and I am going to place those underneath the scallop, the green scallop. And so, um, see how I'm getting crazy. <laughs> Woo! Put another one there. Okay, so it's going to get tucked behind the uh, green scallop like that. And so, as long as you don't have the uh, tombow underneath the uh, tops of the scallops, then you can scoot things behind it. So there is, and that's going to be like a quarter of an inch or so over from the right side of the paper. And like I said, I haven't measured anything on any of these. Um, so that's going to go, and that gets snugged up next to it. And then now we've got trees to put in place. So the first one is going to be the white tree, and I'm just putting it down with Tombow. It's going to be sort of the background tree, so it's going to go flat. And then uh, there's going to be a sticker that goes here that's a real pretty sticker. So that's going to go underneath there. And then I'll put the little wood embellishment on with the liquid Tombow so it, it catches. It'll do better with the liquid, liquid glue rather than the uh, Tombow runner. There we go.
And now the title is going to be together. And fortunately, it's all one piece as a sticker. And I can just kind of place it up there and slap that puppy down. And then I'm going to add um, some more liquid Tombow to the rest of the title. So I'm just dotting it on there. It's plenty. Flip it over and put it under there. So together is the best place. So there we go. And I like how we've got a wood embellishment down below and the wood on top and it kind of brings each other together. Adds some coordination. So here comes the next zip strip. And, you know, I wish I had read the instructions because actually, you know what I could have done? I could have just snugged those treetops just right up there. Um, except it doesn't go like that. It goes the other way. So I could have snugged them right up to the edge of the zip strip. Um, didn't think about that at the time because I was in the mode that that straight part goes underneath the zip strip, but it doesn't. So it kind of threw my thinking off. And then I realized, okay, the branches go up above, so I've got to, I'm pulling it off and adding some more Tombow. I'm kind of tucking it up under there. Didn't have to do it. Could have just snugged it, and that would have been just fine. But looks nice. Okay, so now the scallops will hide the bottom of the aspen trees. And so once again, I'm just putting the Tombow runner on the very bottom of the scallops. So, and all the scallops are going in the same order as the prior page. So I am, if you saw the bottom of my floor of my office here, it is covered in embellishments, in bags. So I am doing a reorg on, not a complete reorg on my office, but I'm getting some more boxes and I'm pulling some stuff out and putting it in. I bought a calyx from Ikea, and I'm going to get some boxes to hold uh, my older cardstock. So if I have a uh, group over for doing a crop, then they can, if they've got some old papers and they want some old cardstock to match, then I'll have it available easily for everybody. They can find, you know, whatever color they need between the old and the new um, close to my heart colors. So that picture is going about a half an inch uh, over from the left-hand side of the paper. Now this particular die cut that I'm working with is, this is the first time I've seen this. It's where they've got score lines and they want you to fold them. And it works good with the trees because it's adding dimension to the trees. And so you can kind of see it there. But I want to put the skinnier pieces of the pop-ups um, since if I put a big piece, it would kind of stop the folding from happening. Anyway, this is kind of a cool idea to just add some uh, tree dimension to the, to the page. Haven't seen them do that before. So kind of, kind of cool. And I'm just putting the pop-up um, stickums on the bottom there and I'm going to add the wooden wooden trees in the front with the liquid and just dot it so I'll put that in place and then I'll do the same thing to the little guy so I will be showing you a video as soon as I get the boxes that I ordered to hold all my papers then I will do a video to show you how 
I'm doing my reorganization and to make it my office look neater because, geez, I'm living in, I feel like I'm living in chaos. It's not terrific chaos, but okay, there's my deer that's kind of going into the background, kind of like a shadow. And so I think that's the next thing I'm going, well, I've got to cut some, some little quarter inch strips for journaling to go down at the bottom on the right hand side. So that's what I'm doing here. But there's a, a part of the instructions say that you can add some texture paste um, onto some of the trees to make it look like snow. So I am going to uh, do that, but I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle to it because, you know, snow, when it kind of hardens and you've got some sun out, um, then you get kind of, it gets sparkly. It gets real sparkly. And so I wanted to add a little sparkle to the snow, <clears throat> to the snow. So I'm going to mix some texture. Oh, it's not texture. I'll mix the texture paste with some embossing powders that have glitter in them. So that's what I'm going to do here. And then I will add the texture paste got kind of hard on me. I need to use it more. So you can soften it up by just um, working with it. Just kind of you smoosh it around and it kind of softens it up. And so here's the um, sparkle embossing powder. And I'm just smushing it all together. And there's nothing graceful about this. There's nothing uh, perfect about it. So I'm just going to add some little blobs of, of texture paste onto the uh, edges of the trees, you know, like the branches would catch the snow as it comes down and kind of pile up. Get some more glitter. Anyway, like I said, this is not hardly perfect. Just some, some blobs here and there, and then hopefully the shine comes through and you don't need very much at all. Just enough to put little blobs on the end. And it's nice to add a little bit of texture to texture and dimension to your elements. And so I'll put a little bit on the... Uh... Can you tell it's sparkly? Sort of. So I'm going to put some on the wooden wooden ones too. So they don't look well, just add a little bit of something. A little bit of je ne sais quoi to them. Here we go. Like I said, this ain't perfect, ladies. So I'm hoping that I'm a little bit more organized going into this year. Organization is not my strong suit. So we'll see. I'm hoping, I'm supposed to get my boxes on Tuesday, so I'm hoping to make a video next week that shows things being a little bit more organized in here and looking a little bit better. Okay, so there's my... Um, added snow to my trees and it ends up being kind of a cute it's a nice layout I like it so there's my layout pull out a little bit it's very pretty hope you like it thank you for watching please subscribe and you can shop with me at dorothy.ctmage.com thank you bye bye